Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. Um, so tonight what we have is uh, we have a, a final wrap up of the etching press hand wheel. Um, it's actually dead dog done. Um, I got it back from the powder coater the other day and I got it, I got it hanging up over here and we'll go take a look at it. And uh, I have a few little clips left of some of the final work, uh, um, you know, the finishing work on it uh, prior to painting. Uh, and I made some uh, some masking articles uh, to mask the uh, the bore and the uh, the driving face uh, for the powder coater. Anyway, we're going to take a look at that, and uh, then we're going to find a place to hang that uh, until we finish the rest of the press. So, as part of this, what I'll do is I'll show you uh, the, the next steps for uh, uh, the large etching press that I'm doing, and. Uh, the drive system is really uh, what I'm working on now, and then we'll get to the rolls, and then the, the, the frame structure, and the, um, uh, the lift mechanism, and all the stuff that goes with it. So there's plenty to go on that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, put an apron on, and we'll go uh, take a look at that thing, and, uh, and I'll show you guys the drive system, and uh, what's coming up next on that. Okay, so um, here's the wheel. This is, uh, you know, obviously I'm not going to pan over the whole thing. Um, this, you know, this section is pretty good. There's some areas where, uh, uh, 
you know, you see a little waviness in the, uh, in the grinding, and, uh, uh, but, you know, it's pretty good. So what I don't want it to be is too precious uh, right now. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a machine to be used, not to, uh, you know, sit in a, uh, in a museum or anything like that. So it's, it's meant to be used. Uh, like somebody said, uh, pocket knives and pickup trucks are meant to be used. Um, and uh, anyway, this, this press is meant to be used. So here's the, uh, here's the plug that I made. And it's just an aluminum plug here, and uh, this was to mask the bore, and good thing I made it because they normally use uh, silicone uh, plugs to plug holes and things like that to mask uh, from the, uh, the powder coat and then the subsequent heating in the oven. This gets up to about 400 degrees, I think, F. Um, anyway, this is their stuff here that they mask that flat face with. And it's some kind of high temperature tape. I'm not sure what it is, but it's kind of an interesting material. And it's you can see that it's it's kind of it's kind of stiff. I'm not sure what it is. I'm kind of curious about it. Uh, and it looks like it conformed to the keyway. Uh, uh, maybe it's really soft when they uh, when they apply it, and then it it kind of gets harder when uh, um, it goes through the heating process. And uh, anyway, so. You can, that's just the paint um, chipping off of there, so, okay, anyway, that's the plug. And then I provided some, some eye bolts, you know, so that there was just, I really wanted them to hang it a certain way. I didn't want them to put a hook around this, which is really tempting for this thing, right? I just didn't want any, uh, any weirdness on the, uh, the part that your hand's going to be. So I provided these uh, little eye bolts that screw in there uh, that they could hang it from, so... There was, uh, <laughs> I left little, uh, little to chance there on, uh, on how to hang it, so. Uh, and then the last thing here is, so this is kind of the color scheme here. Um, and you know, I don't know how good these colors are gonna show. Probably actually pretty good with the HD. Um, so this is the wheel. This will be the main frame of the, uh, of the machine here, this kind of uh, cherry red here. Um, and then there's some smaller bits uh, some bearing housings that move a little bit and some smaller pieces will probably be this uh, uh, a similar green to this so that's kind of the the art department's decision on the uh, on the colors there all right so let's uh, look at the drive system and then uh, let's wrap this up okay so uh, just as a reminder this is uh, uh, the gear reducer for the uh, for the etching press and this is a model that I made up and then this is a uh, um, this, uh, the steel components that uh, Steve Cox uh, back, uh, back east cut for me at his, uh, his steel plant. Um, so these are obviously these gears here and this is the basis of the drive and just as a reminder how this thing kind of works it's a cycloidal drive and um, so this, this represents the large hand wheel that we were just looking at and you can see that I'm I'm turning fairly fast here and that there's a gear reduction to this gear here and the ratio is about 18 to 1 so in a very compact flat space um, I get a, a high reduction and it looks cool too right uh, this piece here will be shaped a little bit differently um, and so something like this would be painted this green um, here the main machine will be red behind this I believe I'm going to nickel plate these, um, so that's just kind of some of the uh, some of the design details there. And then here's the, uh, the steel gear here, and you can see I'm just putting my finger in there and, and running it around. Now that's just as flame cut, and it works. That's the beauty of this thing is you can use. Um, you know, you don't have to have machine gear teeth uh, for this system. You can plasma or water jet or, um, you know, like Steve did for me. This is flame cut and it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and uh, he did an awesome job on, on that for me. So thanks, Steve. Appreciate that. Uh, so anyway, that's what's coming up next on the etching press. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.